What's up guys? Welcome to the Sport Update. My name is Giovanni. Welcome to another Napoli review. This one is going to be a Napoli versus Parma review that took place just a few moments ago at the Stadio San Paolo. In kind of an upset result, you know, Parma winning 1-0 and we'll get into that really quick. Uh, it's not going to be that long of a video, but just a disclaimer, this video will not have any highlights. It'll say no footage in the title because that's copyright and I will not want, you know, my channel to get banned off of YouTube. So, um, just letting all you guys know, if you want the highlights, please go look somewhere else. And, uh, yeah, if you if you have any feedback towards the game, you can just leave it down below in the comments. So, thanks for understanding. Let's get right into this. You know, this game was pretty much a defensive game played by Parma that really closed off Napoli and everything they tried. You know, Napoli had 64% possession of the ball. And, you know, when a team has 64% possession, you would think that they would score a goal or get a few chances. And really, Napoli didn't have that many many chances. Uh, Higuain had one chance where he was able to get past the defender, you know, just sidestep him, you know, make a little skill move. But Mirante uh, just saved it. I mean, it was a straight shot right at the goalkeeper. So, not a good take from him. And that came to backfire. Uh, but besides that, not really any chances. And Parma, like I said, they were defensively co closed in. They just, you know, I don't think they were looking for a win. A every team looked for a win, but going into Stadio San Paolo, you know, no one beats Napoli there. It's very hard, hard to beat uh, the Partenope at Stadio San Paolo. So going in there and winning today makes a statement. And I know they're not, you know, very high on the on the ta uh, table. I think they're down. I think they only had ten points. If I'm not mistaken, I, I'm I haven't checked, but they were pretty low. And, you know, it just seems the lower teams always come to Napoli, you know, against Napoli and just play spectacularly. Um, but Parma has great players, don't get me wrong. The goal scorer, Cassano, um, Biabiani, and, uh, you know, they have a few, you know, they have a few players that are good. And, you know, Parolo is a kind of a rising player uh, who has just played for the national team as well. Um, you know, they have some good players, but really it was def defense. They closed in and they brought all their players back. And every time Napoli tried something, it didn't work. Uh, Insigne kept getting cut off. Uh, Armero couldn't get involved on the wing. Majo and Callejon didn't have really anything going on. Iguain again, besides that one shot, didn't see him do anything. Pandev, you know, he was all right, but there's nothing for him to do. Hamsi came on for Pandev and then came right off like 10 minutes after because he, he was hurt. You know, Benitez shouldn't, shouldn't not put him in there, but, you know, I guess he thought he was all right. But she's probably going to be out Tuesday against Dortmund, which is going to be terrible. Um, but like I said, any chance that they tried to do, uh, they tried to make use of and convert to a goal-scoring opportunity, nothing. Uh, two free kicks, one Insigne was, you know, right to the goalkeeper. Uh, Mertens hit the top of the crossbar, so that was probably the closest chance besides uh, Iguain's chance. Uh, but nothing came from it. And then, you know, on the counterattack is where Parma was good. Biabini a very quick player, but in the 81st minute, Cassano scored, Antonio Cassano scored a goal. Uh, past Re Reyna, which was, you know, it wasn't anything spectacular, not to be honest. He dribbled, he dribbled, dribbled, dribbled up to the, you know, right next to the outside of the box, and none of the Napoli defenders decided to tackle him. They just let him kept dribble keep dribbling, and he shot the ball, and it rolled right past Reyna into the corner of the net. I mean, really, the defense is a killer, uh, and the midfield. The midfield was terrible. I mean, they had no passing. Napoli had... Uh, not pat no passing game because obviously sixty four percent, but I don't know. Just the playmaking passes, they just were so locked down, and it has to do with Parma as well. Their defense was great, so you know. Besides that, I mean, just you know, the small passes wasn't wasn't working for Napoli today, and uh, they couldn't really do anything. It, nothing was effective. Parma played a very good defensive game. I'm going to say that for the fifth time, and you know they got that one goal and they won. I'm pretty sure they would have been happy with the tie, but. They beat Napoli. Now Napoli is slacking off, and they're going to fall back three points if Inter and Juventus wins. They might drop to fourth, or a fourth place, and then I don't know about Fiorentina if they have enough points. Maybe to fifth. So Napoli's not in a good position right now. They're not, you know, in a terrible position, but they need to start winning. Benitez needs to get these guys together. In January, he needs to buy a midfielder and he needs to buy a defender because we need some help back there uh, in Napoli's favor. But Parma played a great game, and they deserved to win. They were definitely the better team, definitely. Coming from a Napoli fan, Parma definitely outplayed us, um, defensively at least. You know, we had possession, but I don't know. They just looked like the better team, and we should have won. Napoli should have won, but they didn't. But anyways, it was a tough game and a great win for Parma, who I'm sure are going to enjoy this. 
So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. It'll be awesome. I'm over 400 subscribers. So thanks to all you guys and all the support. And I will see you guys later on. I might have a few videos later on today. So I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.